What's up guys, Kevin Cage here with another crypto update. Happy New Year to all and I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is going to be jam-packed. Now this video will be our usual monthly iTrust Capital video, but we're going to go beyond that and share a bunch of information, such as the upcoming Bitcoin halving date taking place in April, which historically has always led to all to my prices. Here are all three of the Bitcoin halving dates that came before. We're going to dive into several categories related to crypto assets in the gaming sector, the AI sector, and then real world assets and tokenization. We're also going to discuss some of the largest qualified custodians in the crypto space and paying attention to which assets they're supporting and adopting. Because as this asset class becomes a major asset class, there's a critical role in providing security and regulatory compliance. Discussing multi-party computation, cold storage, and multi-signature technology. We'll discuss the upcoming Bitcoin and Ethereum spot ETFs. And their approval in Q1 or even in the future is going to give rise to a variety of other digital assets and new ETPs and ETFs. Just like 21 shares has a variety of digital assets or altcoins and they have exchange traded products for them today. Like Solana, over $500 million assets under management, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, ADA, DOT, etc. And all of these assets are held in cold storage as you can see, kept in cold storage and held 100% physically backed by the underlying tokens. And even comparing Bitcoin's market capitalization or the entire crypto asset class to some of the world's largest companies. Like Apple, for example, market cap of $3 trillion, that is the all-time high of the entire crypto asset class. And we're sitting at just $1.6 trillion today. And just like Jamie Dimon is calling the crypto asset class and Bitcoin a scam, we can see right there. BlackRock names JP Morgan as an authorized participant for its spot Bitcoin ETF. And even JP Morgan is paying attention to digital assets and tokenization. Since 2020, through the creation of Onyx Digital Assets, which is JP Morgan's product, our multi-asset tokenization platform, on which we have settled over $900 billion of tokenized U.S. Treasuries to date. We also have Citibank, one of the largest three banks that oversees 80% of all cross-border transfers, tokenizing deposits for institutional clients, so that they can be used for instant cross-border payments, liquidity, and automated trade finance solutions. We know the tokenization estimates by firms like BCG estimating the tokenization of global illiquid assets is estimated to be a $16 trillion business opportunity. With the goal of tokenizing 10% of the global GDP by 2030, global GDP is well above $100 trillion. In the best case of $68 trillion by 2030. And even SWIFT discussing tokenized assets. By some estimates, volumes could reach some $24 trillion by 2027. And the Bank of International Settlements estimating that cross-border payments will grow to over $250 trillion by 2027, equating to a rise of over $100 trillion in just 10 years. And although the United States appears to be behind other jurisdictions, a lot of other countries and their regulatory bodies are taking action. We know in Dubai's financial districts, they have approved the digital asset XRP for use. So licensed firms can now incorporate XRP, the digital asset, into their virtual asset services. Along with recent news, like the company Ripple being added to the Central Bank of Ireland's Virtual Asset Service Providers Register. And registration allows these organizations to provide certain digital asset services within Ireland. And right here, this applies to all digital assets. We have the MICA in the European Union, Markets and Crypto Assets Regulation. All of this regulation is ramping up into 2024, especially if we get that 2024 stablecoin bill. So we're going to go over a bunch today looking at iTrust Capital and a variety of assets that are available, and then run through a bunch of benefits of a Roth IRA in the crypto asset class. I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's kick it off. Alright guys, so we have iTrust Capital linked in the top of the YouTube video description and in the pinned comment if you're interested and you create a free account, you get a $100 funding reward. I've had a crypto Roth IRA with iTrust Capital since January of 2020, so coming up on 4 years now. They have over $7 billion in transactions thus far. They leverage a qualified custodian under the SEC. Per the terms and conditions and per the law, if iTrust Capital ever went out of business, we still get our funds. And friendly reminder, having a Roth IRA in the crypto asset class is 100% tax free. So all of your gains and all of your profits are taxed at 0%. And there are zero startup fees, no monthly fees, no hidden management fees that you're going to get hit with. It is just a 1% transaction fee if you trade. Essentially the same transaction fee as Coinbase, except with Coinbase you're not getting any tax benefits. So some people hate the idea of retirement accounts, 401ks, Roth IRAs, anything like that, and that's completely fine. But it was a great fit for me because I had a Roth IRA already in the S&P 500. It did fairly well over the years, but I rotated that into the crypto asset class because I see much higher growth potential. And with that being said, yes, there's a lot of growth potential and opportunity in the crypto asset class, but the risk is significantly higher. 
So the way I see a Roth IRA is this is just another retirement vehicle. I don't have to bet the farm. I don't have to put my life savings in this. And you can start with as little as $1,000. And I just want to have exposure long term to the crypto asset class, especially if I'm holding any assets that do very well over the long term and hit a home run. The huge benefit of iTrust Capital is I can trade directly between the US dollar. I don't have to leverage a stable coin with counterparty risk. So with any of my holdings, I can trade 24 seven right from my phone or on my PC. And the trades typically settle in less than a minute so I could set conditional transactions like a limit order at different prices and decide when to stagger out and sell automatically so I don't have to check my phone all the time. And talking about crypto during every multi-year bear market seems very silly until we get another bull run. I believe in the crypto asset class and having future bull runs. So because of that, I want to have long-term exposure and during a bull run, even if I don't sell the top, I want to de-risk back into US dollar while maybe even maintaining some long-term holds in different projects I believe in for the future. And having a crypto Roth IRA helps me keep that long-term vision. And at any point, just like last bull run, if I made a lot of money, my Roth IRA went up a couple hundred percent, which is insane. I have the option to take that Roth IRA, go back to another custodian like Vanguard, and just go back into the S&P 500. But I see crypto as that emerging asset class. Even last cycle, we saw a variety of assets do a 10, 50, and 100x. It's super risky and everybody has their own time horizon and risk appetite. And even regarding city tokenizing its institutional deposits, if you saw that interview I shared on YouTube a while back, the lady from City even said this is a permissioned version of Ethereum. We've built our platform to interoperate with Ethereum if regulatory clarity comes. And JP Morgan Onyx that already tokenized and settled over $900 billion of tokenized US Treasuries to date is also attending the Hub or Blockchain Hub Davos next month, which is hosted by Casper. So we have Onyx by JP Morgan, plus a bunch of other large groups like T Mobile, Circle, and the Bank of International Settlements right there. So a bunch of organizations. So when we talk about these tokenization estimates and real world assets, we have to understand not all of it is going to drive value to public networks. But as we know, these private networks by institutions aren't ideal either. Both public and private have their drawbacks or their pros and cons. So public networks are already playing a place today, just like Hedera tokenizing money market funds. They have billions of dollars tokenized on their network. In public crypto networks, a lot of the assets that you see in the top 100, top 200 on coin market cap are ideal for securing high value assets. And even Hedera and their governing council and HBAR the native token is available on iTrust Capital. Partnered with a variety of large organizations, Google, IBM, Deutsche Telekom, and Boeing, and even Kevin O'Leary shared a clip the other day just emphasizing that Boeing is leveraging Hedera for supply chain. So what's really cool about Web3 is instead of just owning a share of your favorite company and if they do very well, the share can go up in price. Everybody has the option to own some of these tokens that are essentially global protocols and they're not used by just a single company. And for every single transaction on Hedera's mainnet or its main network, a portion of HBAR is required. So the whole idea in the crypto asset class is to be able to own a portion of tokens and if the networks are actually used and there are tons and tons of transactions that are actually driving real world use cases and utility, the price of the token could go up per supply and demand. And we don't know exactly what the future holds. We have crazy stats of a prediction of growing institutional crypto custody. The market size is expected to reach $10 trillion by 2030. And even goals of 10% of global GDP being tokenized, even if it's only 5 to 9%, that's huge. Every single bear market, all these black swan events, different hacks, they always surprise me. I've just never seen more estimates of the growth of this asset class in my life. We have qualified custodians like Coinbase Custody. We have BitGo, which I trust capital leverages, and a bunch of large custodians in the crypto asset class. Even Zodia Custody right here, which just integrated this month with Medico or Ripple's company, the Swiss custodian. And there's all types of categories that crypto assets are going after to solve real world problems, including virtual reality, AI, gaming, storage, and RWAs are real world assets. So here's a category on coinmarketcap.com looking at AI and big data. And it's crazy because the total crypto market cap is around 1.6 trillion. And some people believe some of these use cases for gaming, AI, big data, they could all reach a trillion dollar market cap. And since ChatGPT, we've seen a variety of AI sector assets absolutely take off and outperform the market. Some people in the crypto asset class are much more bullish on assets going after AI, big data, and gaming because they think they have higher growth potential in the short term. And it can be super profitable, but it's also a lot more speculative. And others are more interested in real world assets and tokenization. And for example, we're already seeing different types of funds and money market funds being tokenized on top of Hedera. But others in this space aren't nearly as bullish on real world assets and tokenization. Because tokenizing real world assets involves representing physical or real assets like real estate, art, a vehicle, in the form of digital tokens on a blockchain. So while this can increase liquidity, accessibility, financial inclusion, it also introduces counterparty risk. 
and because the token's value is intrinsically linked to the physical asset and the entities that are managing it, making it not entirely digital. So because of this, there's a bunch of regulatory and legal challenges and just tons of infrastructure that has to be developed. So let's run through some crypto price charts of different assets available on iTrust Capital in this list. So we'll just look at these alts big picture on the monthly time frame. This is not financial advice. We're simply looking at different assets that have retraced and those that haven't. So looking at the monthly time frame and comparing the 21 week EMA, this purple line, we're seeing different assets begin to retrace to this level. Some reject it, some actually continue higher. So we have Ave right there crossing the 50 line. We have Cardano doing the same thing. We have Algo or Algorand starting to make its way up to this 21 week EMA, yet to cross the 50 line or the middle line on the RSI. We have Adam or Cosmos yet to cross the 50 line, but already wicked above. We have AVAX from its cycle low absolutely taking off, doing over a 400% wick to wick. We have Bitcoin that got above this level a while back, and we have other alts still at their lows yet to retrace, like Curve and Comp. So the better Ethereum does, the better it will be for a variety of other ERC-20s. And then others like Solana from their cycle low going over 10x. So since Bitcoin has retraced from its cycle low at 15,500, we're starting to see assets begin to wake up and retrace. And looking at this Bitcoin bull run index, aggregating nine of the most popular indicators, we're going to see if history rhymes in the future. Because over the past 10 years, every single cycle top has been in red or dark red. So cycle top, cycle top, cycle top. And the cycle low has been in dark green. So cycle bottom or cycle low, cycle low, and then cycle low last November when Bitcoin was as low as 15,500. So per history and looking at Bitcoin during multiple cycles, each time the bear market, we have fallen below the 21 month EMA. My bad in the previous clip, I think I called it the 21 week. This is the 21 month exponential moving average. The RSI or the monthly momentum has always fallen into a cup and then once it pierces into 70 plus into the white, it is created an all time high. So big picture, provided Bitcoin stays above this 21 month EMA, this purple moving average, I'm bullish. But keep in mind, last cycle we did crash one more time back into reaccumulation before getting back above this level. I also saw this poll and I thought this was pretty interesting. So this was originally shared back in December of 2022. They held the same poll both on Twitter or X and then LinkedIn. In 2023, which investment asset class do you expect to have the greatest total return? On the right, a lot of the professionals on LinkedIn thought the equities market would have the highest rate of return and the least amount actually believed in crypto with 14%. And coming to the end of the year, the people on Twitter were right. Over 53% said crypto. Now, if you're on iTrills Capital's website, linked in the video description, and you click support and visit support home, you can go through setup walkthroughs and step-by-step -step tutorials for everything and answer a bunch of questions. The big thing I want to emphasize for iTrust Capital security is assets are held in cold storage. So MPC is a cryptographic technique, and this allows the creation of multiple key shares, which means that no single party holds the entire key or the secret key that can access your crypto and move funds. So by creating multiple key shares, no single party holds the entire private key, and this is eliminating the single point of failure. So when a transaction needs to be signed, multiple key shares come together in a secure and private way, and then they create the signature without ever reconstructing the private key in a single location. An MPC is considered an advanced security feature that's becoming more popular for a lot of these organizations that are handling digital assets. So because iTrust Capital uses their qualified custodian fortress, which leverages BitGo and Fireblocks, I always keep tabs on BitGo and Fireblocks and see which assets they're supporting. So BitGo is a qualified custodian. You can see a variety of digital assets in this list under wallets, under trading, under borrowing and lending, staking and more. And Fireblocks is even bigger. We can see over $4 trillion in transactions secured. We have WorldPay, Bank of New York, and many others. And Fireblocks has a massive platform with a list of supported crypto assets for integration. So just a massive list of a variety of digital assets. So I always keep tabs on this because I'm looking forward to several more dozen assets being available on iTrust Capital. There's almost, what, 20 or 30 plus? Let's see. So yeah, over 30 plus different digital assets available today, including gold and silver, but I imagine another couple dozen to be listed in the future. In a reminder, if iTrust Capital or Fortress the company were to go out of business, we still have access to our funds. By law and under a qualified custodian, clients would retain ownership and control of their accounts and assets and would be required to transfer their funds to another qualified custodian. Now, crypto is risky enough. Always read the terms of services for any crypto exchange or platform you're using because there are a bunch of retail investors today with lots Lots of funds trading on some foreign exchanges without KYC or using other unregulated platforms which have their own risk. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll also link this video going over 10 benefits of a Roth IRA. Just laying out additional benefits of a Roth IRA such as tax-free wealth transfer.
When you pass away, the assets in your Roth IRA can be transferred to your heirs completely tax-free. And if you have or when you have a bunch in the crypto asset class, I think it's super important to do estate planning and have a will. And an IRA, whether it's a Roth or a traditional, can also be a hedge against future tax increases. And every single investment vehicle has their pros and cons. If you're eating a meal, you might not always want a spoon. Maybe you want a fork or knife. So the same thing applies to different investment vehicles or even diversification between different asset classes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Huge thanks to all that hit the like button and happy new year. If you enjoyed this video, I'd greatly appreciate if you could hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts down below and my link tree is linked in the top of this YouTube video description. With all links, crypto resources and discounts. I'll catch you in the next one.